Hello friends, uh, now I'm going to show you how to do the, that the pallet strength test using uh, AHP pallet testing uh, machine. This is uh, 15 tons of force capacity pallet compression tester unit from AHP Plastic Machina. The machine is working according to this standard ISO uh, 8611. And uh, now I'm going to do the test of strength. Uh, the test setup is like this. You see there are uh, two uh, supports and uh, the, the load applicators here. As you see the number it shows it is shown with number four. And we have uh, a compression testing unit. The machine is uh, like this. This is 15 tons of force capacity compression tester from HP Plastic Machina. It also equipped with uh, uh, linear transducers. There are uh, five linear transducers for displacement measurement. It's just acting like this. In the uh, full side of the pallet, uh, you will see these uh, transducers. And also another one is in the middle of the pallet and is working with a pneumatic cylinder. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there are a uh, load uh, application plate, load applicator bars, sample pallet, and also uh, the supports. You see two supports, and setup is according to the standard. Uh, this is a servo machine, servo controlled, uh, completely controlled the force and the speed. Uh, and as I said, the, the, the load cell capacity in this machine is uh, 150 uh, uh, kilonewton. I mean, uh, 15 tons of force capacity. Yeah, let's see uh, how we need to set up uh, the software. And uh, in the first page, you will see uh, the general parameters of the sample. Second page shows you force distance. And uh, for the horizontal uh, line of the graph, you can set uh, any displacement, uh, the machine that is measuring. I mean, the, we have five linear transducer and one screw. You can set uh, the displacement base for the graph uh, as you want. There are force time. Pallet test start. Uh, you will set the parameters uh, for the stiffness measurement. And pallet test 3D shows you a 3D uh, uh, demonstration of the five, uh, six uh, displacement points. Uh, you see here the coordinates of the measurement points. You will set the coordinates here. And you will see a graphical display of the uh, Z displacements, uh, I mean uh, the, the displacements of each measurement point here in 3D graph. Pallet test graph shows you five, uh, the six displacements, uh, five linear transducer here and a screw. And another graph that is the last one is force. You have calibration page, you have report setting, the final report will be in Excel and also uh, you have general setting page, uh, you can set uh, uh, any force and displacement as minus or plus as you want and you can set uh, the, the limit displacement for the testing of strength. For example, suppose that we are going to do the test in, in length direction, we have a pallet with uh, 130 centimeter. And the limit for displacement of uh, strength testing is 6% of the length, that is uh, 78 millimeter. I'm setting the displacement cut to 78 minus. I'm measuring the, 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 the displacement in the direction uh, as minus value. Uh, and the displacement base for cut, I mean limit cut is uh, displacement five, that is the, the, the linear transfu transducer in the middle of the pallet 
and uh, uh, that's all. Let's set the sample parameters. Here, for, for stiffness uh, testing, you have datum load uh, here, and also you can set the time for this load. And after this period, automatically machine will go to the full test load and uh, full test load time also can be uh, set here. And uh, you have relaxation force that is normally zero, but uh, you can set any force for this uh, parameter. And, and also you have relaxation time parameter that is a control parameter. And here you have uh, displacements the machine automatically will uh, record uh, after all these periods. Uh, after the tum load, uh, after immediately after full test load, here this column will be the displacements of the six displacements uh, immediately after full test load application, and the third column is uh, after full test load period. This is uh, the the displacements will be recorded automatically after full test load time passed. And the last column will be after relaxation period. These are the records will be automatically done after passing the relaxation period. You have reset keys for the reset of the displacements machine measuring and also you have zero distance key here. You can easily uh, make the distance of the ball screw to zero when you're going to start the test. And that's all, it's easy uh, to set. And now, uh, I'm going to do the strength test. I need to set the speed. Need to set the direction. That is down. And uh, we need to start here. If you want to, to do the test of uh, stiffness, you need to pass a cycle as the force and times uh, as you set here. And uh, you need to click on cycle start. Now I'm going to do the strength test. Uh, I set, as I said, uh, I set the displacement cut here and the displacement base is displacement 5. And here I set the direction and also the speed, for, for example, 2 millimeter per minute. Direction is down and uh, let's zero the displacements here. Any key, you click uh, two or three seconds, the displacements will be zero. First of all, uh, I need to set uh, the, the zero point manually. As you, saw, uh, as you see, I have a hand key here. I'm just uh, bringing the, 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 the force plate down. Yeah. You see it's coming down. When the loading bars uh, touch the pallet, now you see the load applicators touch the pallet, but the load cell has some distance from the uh, load applicator plate. Uh, first of all, let's uh, make uh, the force zero. Now you can set it to zero. Yeah, now you see the force is zero. And now I'm coming down again uh, using hand key. I'm coming down and uh, whenever force is going up two, three or five uh, kilogram force, it means that uh, the load cell the load cell touched the load applicator plate yeah now it touches the, 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 the load applicator plate and that's all after after uh, the, the force zero point setting uh, we can set the displacement to zero zero Zero. Any key you, you need to hold two or three seconds to make it zero. Yeah. And also here, make the distance to zero. We have a ball screw distance to zero and all uh, five linear transducers to zero as well. Yeah. 
Now we can start the test. I set the speed to 2 and uh, the direction to down and I can start now. Machine starts to apply the load. And you can see the graphs here. You can see all displacement graphs and force graphs. It's auto scale mode going down. And you will see the force level here. Whenever displacement 5 here, displacement 5 passes 78 millimeter or the pallet fail, fails, the, 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 the test will be stopped automatically. Yeah, that's the way of testing. It's uh, very easy to do the test. Now, as you see here, uh, also we can set the speed of the test in the middle of the test. I mean, you can increase the rate of uh, load application by increasing the speed of the movement of the load applicator. See we have uh, four displacements, uh, one is screw displacement and the other three are uh, displacement number three here, this one is number three, the one in the back side is number one and uh, the one in the middle of the pallet is number five. You see pallet just bends. And we have displacement of about uh, 15, 14 millimeter in the middle. And so far we are uh, uh, just uh, applying uh, the force 1.6 tons of force.
you see the the displacement passes or set value and it will be stopped and uh, now we don't have any uh, brick in the pallet but uh, we have displacement more than 6% of the length of the pallet that is 78 millimeter and machine will be stopped automatically this is a strength test now we can measure the maximum force application when the 6% displacement occurred and uh, and also if the failure uh, occurred in any of the these ligaments or any part of the plastic pallet we will measure that force as the maximum force and that is uh, the strength of the pallet. Yeah, this is AHP uh, Plastic Machina uh, Pallet Compression Tester. And this unit is with the force capacity of 15 tons. Thank you.